This video covers setup and operation of the fully automatic vector pump with documentation. Be sure to complete all pump physical inspection and setup instructions as described in the previous video prior to configuring the pump for a specific job. If using a stealth model tool, check to make sure the tool is stamped with TA to indicate compatibility with the vector pump. When using small tools, such as the MXT.7 or smaller, contact HITORC for instructions. Job setup starts with entering tool information. All setup is entered using the handheld remote control with LCD screen, three front buttons, and a single green trigger button on the back. Starting with the System Ready screen, push the right button to enter the mode screen. On the mode screen, use the left or right button to highlight fully automatic. Push the green trigger button to select and display the documentation screen. On the documentation screen, highlight yes and push the green trigger button to start data capture and display the selected tool screen. The selected tool screen displays the number of ports available. On the selected tool screen, push the trigger button again to begin tool selection. Scroll through preloaded wrench options and push the green button to select the model being used for this application. On the tool type screen, select the size tool being used. Once the wrench model and size are selected, they will be applied to each port used. Before entering tool serial numbers, record the assignment of the tools to their respective pump ports. On the Add Serial Number screen, enter the serial number of the first tool corresponding to port 1. Repeat adding serial numbers for each tool in the order of their assigned ports. Once all tool serial numbers are entered, scroll to the bottom of the selected tool screen and highlight Done with the right button. Push the green button to select. On the Set Torque screen, set the target torque by using the left and right buttons to increase and decrease the torque value and the green button to select. On the Job ID screen, enter the name of the job by using the left and right buttons to scroll through characters and the green trigger button to select individual characters and repeat to enter the full job ID. On the Part ID screen, enter the name of the part using the left and right buttons to scroll through characters and the green trigger button to select individual characters and repeat to enter the full Part ID. On the Personal ID screen, Enter a personal identification using the left and right buttons to scroll through characters and the green trigger button to select individual characters and repeat to enter the full personal ID. On the number of bolts screen, enter the total number of bolts to be tightened for this operation. On the settings completed screen, review the data entered by using the left and right buttons to scroll through the screens and verify that all information is correct. If changes are required, Use the center button to go back to the screen that needs correction and update the information. On the last settings completed screen, press the right button to complete the job setup and begin testing the pump and tools. Once the job setup is complete, test the vector pump and torque tools prior to operation. Verify all tools are connected to the pump. Prior to starting the test, place all tools on the floor. Check that the tools can rotate freely during the test to ensure proper calibration. Press and hold the green button to start the pump motor, applying pressure while checking the pump and tools for leaks. Continue to press the green button and check for leaks during the entire test. Release the trigger when the test is 100% complete. The pump motor will automatically stop after 20 seconds or push one of the front buttons and the pump motor will stop right away. Once the vector pump job setup and testing is complete, place the tools onto the bolts. Press and hold the green trigger button to start fully automatic pump operations. The pump motor will automatically turn on and apply pressure to the tools and tighten the bolts. Continue holding the green button during tightening. The status screen indicates bolting in progress. Continue to hold the green button when the target torque is reached and tightening is complete. Continue holding the green button as the pump checks the torque value has been reached. When the pump is done verifying the torque value, release the green trigger button. After all bolts are tightened for the job, the screen will display the status of the bolts. The screen reflects the status of all bolts torqued. This completes the fully automatic torquing operation and verification. The fully automated vector pump provides complete documentation for the entire bolting job. 
Following the fully automated tightening process from the status of the bolt screen, push the right button to enter the report saving status screen. Insert a USB drive into the pump USB port to automatically export the documentation report. If the data transfer does not automatically start after inserting the USB drive, use the left button to refresh the screen and start the export process. The documentation report is a text file that can be viewed on a computer. The report file is named Report, followed by the job ID and part ID. The report file name also includes a date and timestamp. Open the file by double-clicking on the file name. The setup data is shown on the top of the report. The bolting results are shown on the bottom of the report. This completes the fully automatic bolting operation with documentation using the vector pump.